Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you the various ways that you can share files from your OneDrive. Sometimes you want to share a file that's view only, or sometimes you want to share a file so that the person you're sharing with can also help you edit the file. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in the browser. I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to office.com, which will take me to the Microsoft 365 landing page. And here I will then click on the app launcher and go to OneDrive. Okay, so here I am in my OneDrive. I'm looking at my files over here on the left. Got a series of folders and files here. And I'm gonna drill in here to the Rock School folder. So here I have a couple of files and I would like to provide access to some colleagues so they can come in here and review what I've done and provide some feedback. So there's a couple of ways to get to your share link options. One, you can mouse over the file name and you'll see the little share icon pop up. You can click there to get to your share settings, or you can select the radio button off here to the left of the file and you can go up to share right here. Okay, so once I click into share, these are the options I'm going to have. So by default, it says anyone with the link can edit. So you can modify this so that it's only specific people, or you can modify it so that it's view only. So the way you can do that is you're going to go ahead and click here where it says anyone with the link. And this allows you to modify your settings for the link. So we can see here that anyone will, will have access, but down here below it says can edit. Well, you can change this to view only and view. You can also set an expiration date and you can set a password that would be required for them to get into your file. Now I'm going to go back and I want to call out that this is, notice it says send link. This means that you are sending the link through email. And so you can type in a person's name that you would like to receive this email. And you can even include a message about the file and why you're sending it. And then you can just click send to send that off through email. Now down here below, it says copy link. So if you're not going to send this through email, you'll want to use this section down here because this allows you to copy the link and send it through other means. Maybe you want to send it through a text messaging app, or maybe you want to add it to a document. We can go ahead and click into this one and you can modify the settings here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this accessible to anyone with the link. So anyone I actually send it to will have access. But down here, I want view only. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and change it from can edit to can view. I'm not going to set an expiration date or a password. And I'll go ahead and click apply. When I click apply, the link will actually be created. This is a custom link based on my choices in those settings. So now I can copy this link to my clipboard and I can use it now in any application to send it to my audience. Now, I wanna call out another thing here is if I back up to my files, if I wanted to, I could share this entire folder. So same idea, I can mouse over it, go to the share button, or I can select the radio button to the left and go up to share here at the top and I can modify settings to that entire folder. So that can save you some time if you wanna share multiple files within a folder. All right, and that is how you create share links to files and folders in your OneDrive. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.